Have you ever pondered on the complex tapestry that is the history of the Soviet Union? A colossal entity that once stretched from the Baltic Sea to the Pacific Ocean, the Soviet Union has played a pivotal role in shaping the world as we know it today. The saga of the Soviet Union began in the throes of revolution. In the year 1917 the Bolshevik Revolution erupted amidst the chaos of World War I. This was a seismic event, a colossal shift that overthrew the Russian monarchy and saw Vladimir Lenin and his Bolshevik party seize power. Thus, in 1922, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, or the Soviet Union, was born. The early years of the Soviet Union were marked by a series of radical changes. Lenin introduced the new economic policy, a temporary measure that allowed for a degree of private enterprise while the nation recovered from civil war. However, Lenin's death in 1924 saw Joseph Stalin rise to power, and the era of intense centralization and rapid industrialization began. Stalin's brutal reign was marked by the Great Purge, a campaign of political repression that led to the execution and imprisonment of millions. Yet, simultaneously the Soviet Union was transformed from a peasant society into an industrial powerhouse. The Soviet Union's might was tested during World War II. Despite initial losses the Red Army emerged victorious, cementing the Soviet Union's status as a global superpower. The post-war years saw the Soviet Union and the United States locked in the Cold War, a tense standoff between communism and capitalism. The Soviet Union also played a monumental role in the space race. In 1957, they launched Sputnik, the first artificial satellite, and in 1961, Yuri Gagarin became the first human to orbit the Earth. However, the Soviet Union was not without its internal struggles. Economic stagnation and political repression led to widespread disillusionment. In 1985, Mikhail Gorbachev came to power and introduced policies of glasnost, openness, and perestroika, restructuring. Yet these reforms could not halt the growing tide of nationalism and discontent. The final chapter of the Soviet Union's history came in 1991. The failed coup attempt against Gorbachev accelerated the dissolution of the Soviet Union. On December 26, 1991, the Soviet Union officially ceased to exist, replaced by the Russian Federation and 15 independent countries. In summary, the history of the Soviet Union is an intricate narrative of revolution, power, conflict, and dissolution. It began with a revolution that overthrew the monarchy and ended with a failed coup that led to its dissolution. It witnessed the reigns of powerful leaders like Lenin, Stalin, and Gorbachev, and played a pivotal role in global events such as World War II, the Cold War, and the space race. Yet it was also marked by internal struggles, political repression, and economic stagnation. The legacy of the Soviet Union continues to reverberate in our world today, a testament to its vast influence and complex history. Imagine a world where the map is different, where the balance of power is shifted, where the Cold War never ended. Can you envision a world where the Soviet Union still exists? But reality tells a different tale, a tale of dissolution and change. The once mighty Soviet Union, a superpower that stood shoulder to shoulder with the United States, disintegrated in a series of events that shook the world. Our story begins in the early 1980s, with the Soviet Union mired in economic stagnation. Under the leadership of Leonid Brezhnev, the country faced numerous challenges widespread corruption, a lack of political transparency, and a struggling economy set the stage for the forthcoming upheaval. The winds of change started blowing with the appointment of Mikhail Gorbachev as the General Secretary of the Communist Party in 1985. Gorbachev implemented policies of glasnost, or openness, and perestroika, or restructuring. These reforms aimed at making the Soviet Union more transparent and economically competitive but they, they also inadvertently exposed the deep-seated problems riddling the Soviet system. By the late 1980s, nationalist movements began gaining momentum in the Baltic states and other Soviet republics. The power of the central government was weakening and discontent was growing. The Chernobyl nuclear disaster in 1986 further undermined the public's trust in the government. In 1991, a coup attempt by hardline communists Discontent with Gorbachev's reforms backfired spectacularly. The failed coup was the final nail in the coffin for the Soviet Union. It resulted in a surge of support for Boris Yeltsin, the president of the Russian Federation, who emerged 
as a champion of democratic reforms. On Christmas Day 1991, Gorbachev resigned, marking the end of the Soviet Union. The hammer and sickle flag lowered for the last time over the Kremlin, replaced by the tricolor flag of the Russian Federation. Fifteen independent countries emerged from the ashes of the erstwhile Soviet Union. The dissolution of the Soviet Union had profound implications for the world. It marked the end of the Cold War, leading to a unipolar world dominated by the United States. The newly independent countries grappled with the challenges of transitioning to market economies and democratic governance. The geopolitical landscape of Europe and Asia underwent a significant transformation. In the end, the dissolution of the Soviet Union serves as a potent reminder of the impermanence of political entities, no matter how powerful. It's a testament to the indomitable spirit of people yearning for freedom and the inherent flaws of oppressive regimes. The world watched, learned, and continues to feel the ripple effects of these monumental events. The tale of the Soviet Union's dissolution is not just a historical event, it's a lesson etched in the annals of time. Our story begins in the 9th century with the formation of the Kievan Rus, a federation of Slavic tribes under the rule of Varangian warriors, also known as the Vikings. This was the first known organized Russian state. The Kievan Rus was a powerful entity, trading with parts of Europe and Asia and even minting their own coins. Yet, like all great empires, it eventually fell due to internal conflicts and Mongol invasions in the 13th century. The Mongols ruled Russia for over two centuries, a period known as the Mongol Yoke. Despite the harsh rule, this era played a significant role in shaping Russia's identity. It was during this time that Moscow began to rise in prominence. By the 15th century, Moscow emerged as the central power, leading the struggle for independence against the Mongols. It was Ivan III, the Grand Duke of Moscow, who finally threw off the Mongol yoke and took the title of Tsar marking the beginning of the Tsardom of Russia. The 17th and 18th centuries saw a series of reforms that propelled Russia into a new era. Peter the Great, known for his modernizing efforts, moved the capital from Moscow to his newly built city, St. Petersburg, symbolizing a shift towards European culture. The 19th century was a time of great literary and cultural flourishing, but also social unrest. The century ended with the disastrous Russo-Japanese War and the 1905 Revolution, setting the stage for the turbulent 20th century. The 20th century brought the fall of the Tsardom, the rise and fall of the Soviet Union, and the birth of the Russian Federation. The Bolshevik Revolution of 1917 ended the rule of the Tsars, leading to the establishment of the Soviet Union. This era was marked by rapid industrialization, political repression, and the Cold War. The Soviet Union collapsed in 1991, marking the end of the Cold War and the beginning of the Russian Federation. In the 21st century, Russia remains a significant global player, grappling with its historical legacy while charting its future course. So, to sum up, Russian history is a compelling saga that begins with the Kievan Rus in the 9th century, spans the Mongol rule, the Tsardom of Russia, the Soviet Union, and ends with the present-day Russian Federation. This journey has seen periods of great power and influence, as well as times of turmoil and transformation. Each era has left its indelible mark on the nation, shaping the Russia we know today. It's a history that is as vast and diverse as the country itself. In the aftermath of World War II, in 1947, the world was divided. On one side stood the United States and its allies, the Western Bloc, a coalition of liberal democratic countries, and on the other side, the Soviet Union and its allies, the Eastern Bloc, a group of communist states. This division marked the beginning of the Cold War. The term Cold War was coined by Bernard Baruch in 1947, encapsulating the nature of this conflict. It was a war of ideologies, not armies, a war of influence, not territories. And yet, it had the potential to escalate into a full-blown nuclear war. The Cold War was marked by proxy wars, the nuclear arms race, psychological warfare, propaganda campaigns and espionage. Each side sought to extend its influence over decolonized countries, turning them into battlegrounds for their ideological struggle. The space race, a competition between the United States and the Soviet Union to achieve superior spaceflight capability, 
was another significant front in the Cold War. It was not just about who could reach the stars first, but about demonstrating technological superiority and ideological dominance. The lack of agreement on post-war European borders and security systems added fuel to the fire, intensifying the conflict between the two superpowers. The world watched, holding its breath, as the balance of power teetered on the edge of nuclear war. But in 1991, the tensions started to dissipate. The Soviet Union collapsed, marking the end of the Cold War. The world breathed a sigh of relief as the threat of nuclear war receded. The world map was redrawn, and the global political landscape was forever changed. To summarize, the Cold War was a period of intense geopolitical tension between the United States and the Soviet Union, marked by proxy wars, the nuclear arms race, and ideological struggles. It began in 1947, following World War II, and ended with the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. Its impact on the world is still felt today, in the geopolitical landscape, in the technology we use, and in the history we remember. So the next time you look at the stars, remember the space race. The next time you hear about a proxy war, remember the Cold War. And the next time you think about world history, remember the tension, the fear, and the relief of a war that was cold.